Hey, what is up, everybody? I believe today is September 11th. It is 2024, and we are in the Moon Ridge area of Big Bear, California. I thought some people might be interested in seeing the evacuation route. We're going to go all the way down out of the mountain, and I'm going to take you through the whole journey, um, especially for a, a lot of you locals who have been hearing that it's like bumper to bumper and stuff like that. It's not, but I would assume it is always, just so you can leave earlier than later. But I'm gonna show you guys what's up. Um, the fire is getting fairly close to the Big Bear Dam area. It's still a little bit away, but just so you guys can um, see, that lake up there is Big Bear Lake, and the edge of the fire is just creeping up, creeping up, creeping up. So, um, yeah, just, those of you who are still struggling with the, you know, thought of, of leaving, I think we all are, but your, what your life is way more valuable. I know it's tough because this is all, all of our, all our lives are hanging by, hanging by a string right now, but just, uh, save yourself, the firefighters, the heroes out there. They're doing everything they possibly can, and Mother Nature is in our favor now. Especially starting tonight through the next few days, it's it's gonna get really cold at night. I think tomorrow night we will even get down to freezing, which is pretty darn amazing. Um, Humidity is gonna go way up. Daytime high temperatures are gonna be going way down, um, down the mountain. So that's just great, great, great news, you guys. So just hold out hope. I think we're, we're, we're gonna end up being okay, but look at how nasty it still looks right here on the lake. That's where the fire's coming from over there. And we have to head down Highway 18 on the backside. That's our only way in and out of town right now. And uh, getting in is not too simple. You have to be a resident to get in. So just be aware of that. But yeah, we're about to see what it's like to do the full evacuation. We're gonna do this video all the way down till we get to the Highway 18 and 247 Junction. So it's gonna be a little bit of a video, but I think it's gonna be very helpful to a lot of people who are wondering what the route's looking like right now. Um, so yeah. Thank you all so much. The comments have been unbelievably beautiful. You guys are amazing people with huge amounts of love in your hearts. And we all thank you so much for doing what you're doing. Um, just those, just that, that kindness and the prayers and the thoughts about us. We all feel it. We all feel it. And uh, I just, I love this channel because we have the most incredible group of people on this channel. It's it's a very beautiful place. So thank you guys again for everything. Um, thank a lot of you who have offered me to come stay at your place and stuff like that. Like you guys are unbelievable, but I expect nothing less out of this channel. We've developed a great relationship over the past 10 years, you guys. So thanks again for everything. And I will try not to talk much as we're evacuating. Just real quick, we are on North Shore. We're on Highway 38 right now, but it's going to turn into Highway 18 once we cross a street called Greenway. How some of our streets work up here are, are kind of weird. Some don't stay together. You have to like take a detour to the other part of town to catch that highway. It's, it's really odd, but we're on Highway 38 right now and we are almost to Highway 18. I'll tell you once this road changes to Highway 18, and yeah. B-E-A, beautiful. At the bottom of this evacuation route, there's a group of people who are making these massive, beautiful steak burritos, offering them for free to evacuees. And I am starving. 
I'm, I might end this video at that point. But so we can show them and they can get a lot of credit for doing the good that they're doing right now. A friend of mine went there already when they evacuated and um, all they asked was just to please leave them a review also, which of course that'll be, that'll be no problem. If, if I had two accounts, I would leave them two reviews. You really begin to see the humanity in these situations um, that still exists out there. I became a cynic for a long time and not, not anymore. All right, I'll shut up. It's not really helping. I'm gonna plug in my other phone to this and maybe we'll get the good Google Maps up. Ah, forget it, I'll just focus on the road. I know where I'm going. I wanted you guys to see. So that arrow clearly is us and that water you see there, that's Baldwin Lake. We're gonna be going around Baldwin Lake. We, we're on Highway 18 now, you guys. I forgot to, to tell you guys when 38 turned into 18, but we are now on Highway 18. Headed towards Lucerne Valley. ominous out here it's very eerie it really is calm down car I feel like I forgot something but I'm gonna have to come back up again to grab another car so I'm just, I'm doing this for you guys because again, I want you guys to see what it's like for us to have to evacuate and what we have to go through. If it's a lot or if it's not. Right now, it seems pretty darn good. Again, those of you concerned who, who live here now, you'll have no, you shouldn't have any issues getting down. And again, I love you. I don't want you to get hurt. I want you to go right away. Wow, the Baldwin Lake area looks absolutely just devastating. It looks like it's purple and green out there. I mean, this is just epic, you guys. So we started in the Moon Ridge area for this evacuation, and this will show you how fast we can get down there. We've only been doing this video just under 10 minutes. I'm assuming where I want to stop the video will be close to 20 minutes from now. So it's not gonna be that crazy long of a video. Like most of my other 3,600 videos on this channel. 
if you guys like what I'm doing, please hook a brother up with a like and a subscribe. Um, I know I, I shouldn't be asking for stuff like that during during a tragedy, so forget it. I, I, I apologize about that. I'm not trying to be selfish. It's just I've... I have dedicated my life and soul to this channel for the past 10 years. But yeah, forgive me for asking. That was a pretty selfish move on my part. Dang, this guy's flying. That's a good Sprite. Oh, that is a damn good ice cold Sprite. Spoke to my next door neighbor again and he's, he's still, he's not going anywhere. It's a bummer. He said it's all he has. He's an older man now and he's going down with, with the ship I told him he can come stay with me at, at the hotel he doesn't have to give me anything for it just get his butt off the mountain but he is one of the most stubborn men you'll ever ever meet and uh, if I could physically drag him out I would but he'd probably shoot me <laughs> Siri I'm not kidding but he is going to be protecting our little property so that's good, but I'd rather him be gone. All right, so we're coming up to the start of our descent out of the mountain range. When there's no traffic, it only takes between nine and 11 minutes to get down to the very bottom, exiting the San Bernardino National Forest from the top up here. So I'll tell you guys exactly where we're at on the video at the top so you can see how quick you can get down to the very bottom on the backside. It's shockingly fast. Okay, here we go, where you see all these signs watch downhill speed. This is the start of heading down. We're at 12 minutes and 40 seconds of the video. In the desert, you can't see anything. It's just, the cloudiness is just, or fog, or smog is, ugh. I said 12 minutes and 40 seconds is where we started coming down, correct? I think that was right. That was rumble. 
rumble strips really do rumble. guys heard but last night we had our first structural 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 casualty in running springs I, I just can't imagine what those people are are going through right now I know it could be much worse but one is too many It's a 2023 Subaru Outback Touring XT. It's fully loaded. It's got a supercharger, and I'm, I'm, uh, man, I, I never thought I would love Subaru until I moved up to Big Bear. And my other Subaru, you guys are not gonna believe it, but right prior to the fire, um, I took it to a place, to a, a body collision shop because someone crashed crashed into me and their insurance is paying for my car to get fixed. It's another Subaru, but it's in running springs. <laughs> like, can you believe that? Like, thought you guys might get a little kick out of that, that my car is being, being fixed in running springs. Um, they haven't been there for almost a week because of the evacuation. So of course I'm very hopeful that they're, they're mostly out of the real serious danger now, but that just would have been something to have my car and <laughs> just be burnt to a crisp. But yeah, this is a, a comfortable car. I don't drive it much because the payment crushes me and I'm wanting to actually sell it eventually. It only has 8,000 miles on it and I've had it for two years now. I put 6,000 of it on the car the first few months and then I, I, I really haven't driven it since much. Look at these bikers, you guys are crazy. My Harley's gonna be okay. I'm certain of that. So that's good. I'll tell you what, I'll be doing a nice Harley ride after this. Maybe throw the GoPro on my helmet and just drive through the whole mountain range so we can see what happened after the firefighters get this thing stopped which I'm confident, even though it doesn't look like much right now, much uh, containment, I'm confident they're gonna take care of it. And as I said earlier, we are uh, being blessed by mother nature with much cooler temperatures starting today and, and for the next few days, plus a lot higher humidity. And uh, I think in two or three nights, the temperatures in Big Bear are gonna drop into the upper 20s. So yeah, we got some, some, that's some great news. Absolutely wonderful news.
Okay, we've been doing this from the top to the bottom now. It's been eight minutes. Exactly. leaving San Bernardino National Forest. You'll see the sign on the left here. We are out of the forest and off the mountain right now. So it was what, nine and a, or let's see. It was about, yeah, nine and a half minutes to get from the top to the bottom. Can you guys believe that? We're already down here and coming into the Lucerne Valley area, crazy. That's the Mitsubishi plant that everybody refers to when they're going down the backside. But the smoke just goes on forever. Some of you guys who are in Minnesota and Boise, Idaho have said that you're you're getting smoke from our California fires already. All right, so as I said, we're gonna go all the way to the people who were kind enough to help the evacuees with free steak burritos. In this part of California, we eat steak, not tofu. <laughs> Bye-bye, mountain. There's Lucerne Valley. Not much to see out there. Could have passed these guys right here, but now we're not gonna have a chance. I think I'm gonna take my card to get it washed down here because of all the ashes that are on it. bro where's CHP when you need them oh yeah they're up in the mountain wow it just looks like a hellscape We're getting close to the free burritos. Sorry I talk so much, you guys. It's I 
got the gift of gab and sometimes I just don't shut up. But I'll try to be really quiet until we get there. It's so windy down here today as well, you guys. I mean, so windy. Look at those flags going. cylinder this thing is so fast as I said it's called the Outback Touring XT it's a beautiful little car oh yeah very nice very nice Again, guys, we are in total safety now. I'm just taking you to the to the end of the uh, evacuation route.
Yep, the sign's still up. So here's the sheriff department right here. So this is basically, as I said, the very uh, end where Highway 18 meets 247. Hey, you guys are doing a great deed for us. Uh, what's your company called? Um, it is World Central Kitchen. World Central Kitchen. Yes. All right. How do you want us to like help you? This is my uh, YouTube channel called Big Bear Weather and More. Um, how to help uh, whoever needs to stop by evacuees. You're awesome. Yeah. You guys. We're are... here till ten o'clock. It's freaking sweet. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh huh. Thank you guys. Thank you. You guys are amazing. Thank you. Oh, it's so, so great. I, I just want to cry. But anyway, thanks again for taking the evacuation journey with me. Um, I hope there's not going to be any damage in Big Bear. I hope you guys keep us in your thoughts and prayers as much as you can. And uh, also pray that the more stubborn people get the heck out. Thanks again for everything. We're on now this portion of Highway 18. If we would have gone the other way, it would be 247. But yeah, take care. Let's get one more look at the mountain. You can't even see it, but it's right back there. Peace out, you guys. I love you very much.